Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for sending kind notes and whatnot. Subscribe on iTunes. Go over to TikTok to see the Discord. And then go over to a Carrier Pigeon to see the WordPress site. And then, you know, ask your mother. She has a secret passcode to the car that we got for you. It's a Tesla. It's a Model H, but, you know. We didn't get you that full self-drive because you got one A-, minus. but get that up next semester. Maybe we'll upgrade you. And that was because you, the teacher was mad at you. You kind of you up or you you showed him out in a way, and you're like, I, actually, uh, quantum quantum qubits are actually uh, n- not the same as, and you know you got him mad, and he kind of gave you that A minus, which is not on you. It's kind of on him, but you you got to play the game. You're you you're, in the, you're on the field. You got to play the game. If you're up to bat, you got to play the game. Shout out to all the kids in school right now. You got. I wonder if there's the anyone that's like twelve. Or 13 that just listens to us and i was like these guys are cool as fuck they're like grown-ups you gotta play the game i listened to podcasts when i was 12 did you yeah <laughs> they exist yet oh yeah i listened to a maple story podcast oh god Dude, yeah bro if there if i knew about uh because I was, I was heavy on the club penguin mini clip forums uh uh-huh. which is kind of like grown dudes playing club penguin uh if there was a Club Penguin podcast back in the day, I'd listen to it. You know, I kind of feel like I looked for one back then, and there might have been one or two, but they were, like, really bad. They were, like, kids my age talking to the mic. No. And I was like, nah, I need, like, some professional Club Penguin players <laughs> up in this bitch. <clears throat> but PCPs. the Maple Story one was, like, a grown-up. No, like, a fucking – oh, it was a grown-up to me because I was 12. It was, a, like, a college student. I remember his name. His name was Sherev- Sherevin Covella. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, because I remember that because the name was so fucking weird. And then there was another guy who was he had a co-host who was older, who was like he had a kid and he <laughs> talk about his kid sometimes. And I was like thinking like, whoa, like, dude, these are like fucking grown men playing this game. This is awesome. And they would just talk about it and they would get so in depth. And I'd be like, holy shit. And I tried to make a podcast, too, but I couldn't figure it out because it was really difficult back then. But well, good thing. Now you have R&B pod producer. <laughs> 